Hello students hope you all are fine and are taking very good care of yourselves today we will take chapter number 1 class 6 science food where does it come from before starting the chapter let me ask a few questions from you first question why do we need food and the answer is very simple we need food to stay healthy students next question did you eat the same kind of food yesterday and today i know all of you have the same answer and it's a no we eat different food items every day now the next question from where does we get this food so the answer is we get food from plants and animals let us study it in details today we shall learn about food materials and sources parts of plant animal products what do animals eat students first of all let us get knowledge about different food materials or items in the figure shown to us there are different food items shown under different states students can you tell me the name of famous food items state wise as we know in the figure it is shown in punjab makki ki roti and saag is very famous makki ki roti is made with corn flour and saag is made from mustard leaves next is rajasthan where dal bati is very famous Kerala is known for dosa and sambar Gujarat for dhokla and Uttar Pradesh for rice and in the last West Bengal for fish Now we shall see a video showing various food items students you all know for making food we need raw materials we get these raw materials from different plants and different animals we use different raw materials to make our food let us discuss in detail about the raw materials that we use for making food the materials used for making food are known as ingredients for example for making chapatis we need flour and water we prepare dough by mixing flour and water with dough chapatis are made you must have seen your mother making chapati now i shall tell you how dal is made for making dal we need pulses water ghee or oil salt and different spices All these are mixed together in appropriate quantities and are cooked on a stove. Now we have understood that different food items are made with different food materials or ingredients. Now we shall know from where we get these food materials or ingredients. I mean what are the sources of these materials? it may be very easy for us to guess the sources of some of the ingredients let me ask a few from you students from where does we get milk yes your answer is correct we get milk from cows buffaloes and goats so if we get milk from a cow here 
food material is milk and the source is cow. Next question. From where do we get fruits and vegetables? Yes, your answer is right, from plants. This way, we come to know that we get raw material for food from different sources. Some of them come from plants and some of them we get from animals. Now, we shall learn about parts of plants. Parts of plant are roots, stem, leaves, flowers and fruits. Can we eat all of these parts? Students, we all know that plants are an important source of our food. We eat leaves of some plants and fruits of other plants. Roots, stem and flowers of some plant are also edible, so we eat them also. In some plants, two or more parts are edible. For example, mustard plants, we get oil from them and their leaves are used as vegetable. Let us now see some examples. We eat leaves of spinach which is also called palak, mustard and fenugreek which is also known as methi, apple, grapes, banana and mango are fruits of plants that we eat. Seeds of some plants are also edible for example spices, pulses and cereals. Edible oil is also obtained from seeds. The roots and stems of some plants are also edible. For example, carrot and radish are roots that we eat, whereas potato is an underground stem. Now we shall understand the process of seed germination. Means we shall know how seeds germinate and how a new plant is born. First of all, take some gram seeds, put them in a water filled container. Now leave them for a day. Next day, remove water and cover the seed with a damp cloth. And the very next day, we will see small white colored structures have grown out of the seeds. This means our seeds have sprouted. We can boil these sprouted seeds and if we add some spices, we get tasty snacks to eat. Students, do you know where honey comes from or how it is produced? Yes, correct. Bees collect nectar from flowers, convert it into honey and store in their hive. We collect honey from these bee hives. 
Now let's try to know what animals eat. Those animals which eat plants and plant products are called herbivores. As you can see in the picture, the rabbit is eating carrots and the cow is grazing grass. So students, what shall we call them? Yes, they are called herbivores. Similarly, if we talk about carnivores, these are those animals which eat other animals. For example, lion and lizard. Lion eats deer, zebras and other herbivores. Whereas lizards eat insects. Third category is omnivores. Omnivores are those animals which eat both plant as well as animals. For example, humans and dogs. We know that there are many amongst us who do not get sufficient food. We need to find ways by which more food can be grown in our country. Even then, it will not be enough. We will need to find ways to ensure that the food is made easily available to each and every one of us. So remember students, we should never waste food. Now, recapitulation time. Let us revise what we have done till now. There is a lot of variation in the food eaten in different regions of India. The main source of our food are plants and animals. Fruit, stem, leaves, roots and flowers. Almost all the parts of plants are used for food. On the basis of food eaten, we can divide animals into three categories. Herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Herbivores, those who eat plants, carnivores, those who eat other animals and omnivores, those who eat both plants and other animals. Now, I will ask you some questions. Are you ready for it? Here we go. First question. What are the main sources of our food? Option number one air and plants, option number 2 plants and animals, option number 3 animals and water, option number 4 air and water. Yes, the correct answer is plant and animals. Now I will give you a statement. You have to tell whether it is correct or incorrect. The statement is we get milk, eggs, meat, chicken, fish, etc. from animals. Is it correct or incorrect? Students, it is correct answer. Next statement. Animals which eat other animals are called herbivores. Is it correct or incorrect? So the answer is incorrect. Animals which eat other animals are called carnivores. Next question. Famous food of Punjab is rice, idli, fish, or makki ki roti and sa. Students, what do you think? Which option is correct? Yes. Makki ki roti and saag. Next question. Which of the following is a root of a plant? Options are carrot, tomato, pumpkin, lady finger. And the answer is carrot. Carrot is a root and we eat it. Next question. What will we get if we put gram seeds in water 
and then keep them in a wet cloth. Options are germinated seeds, same seeds with no change. And the right option is germinated seeds. Now, next question. What type of animal is a deer? Herbivorous, carnivorous, omnivorous. Right answer is herbivorous because it eat plant, leaves and grass. Next question. Can you name any plant which grows in water and used as food material? And the answer is lotus. Next question. Name any two plants from which we get sugar. Answers are sugar cane and sweet potato. Now the last one. We have three boxes here. We have to put names of the animals in the boxes meant for them. First box is for herbivores, second box is for carnivores and the third box is for omnivores. And we have the options cow, tiger, crow, goat, human, lion, elephant. Now, the first option cow, it will go into the first box that is for the herbivores. Tiger, where will it go? It will go into the second box. What about